Burrito, blee blah blee bidi blee bidi blue blah. Hello everyone, and welcome to my stream where I play a video game. Ah, wow. Uh, welcome. Thank Stop. you. We're playing a little bit of something out of the normal. That's right. We're going into the deep darks of the uh nowhere no wha hui wha hu uh spear. Yes, indeed, honey. We're playing a video game, everyone. It's called... It's called The Norwood Suite. So... Um... Yeah, I hope everyone's doing fine. I hope everyone's doing good. Hello, little blipper. Welcome to your stream. Thank you. Welcome to my stream, Ben Killer. Uh, yeah. Night. We're playing some of that good stuff. You know what it's called. A uh, random game that I found. <laughs> I use the... One of those auto picker things where it's like... Roll the dice or roll the wheel. We'll find a game for you in this certain category. And I said, find me a horror game. And pulled this up. I played a little bit of it and it's a little wacky. There'll be a funny game. There's a lot of shit, jank. Ah, uh, it might. I don't know. I'm going to stomp my feet until my mom comes and says, "Stop, stop, stop." Yeah, it's a little loud. You gotta, you gotta give me a moment. I gotta turn it down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to freaking turn it down because it doesn't. Turn itself down. There's no options to turn it down. It's still loud. What the fuck? I turned it down. <laughs> I turned it down to 25 and it's still loud. <laughs> uh. Surely if I lower it down to 13. Jesus, it's still like... <laughs> what are you saying? I'm... I was trying to lower the freaking volume. <laughs> it was like, nah, bro, it's fine. You're doing great, bro. Have a freaking loudness in your ear. That's pretty cool. I, I do enjoy that when uh, games automatically start and there's no chance to fiddle diddle with the options. It's sure to leave a great impression upon uh, everyone. Therity for tuba, symphony, incidental music. Here, wait. Do I have options now? Can I now? Okay, listen. Don't look at this so far. There's the volume tab. New game, yes. It's okay, I made sure that the volume was very low, so that way it didn't burst our eardrums this time. Please stand by. I played this for a fraction of a moment. Okay. It's fine. Things will be fine. <sighs> it's loading, okay. We're fine, we're good. Please, please accept me, please. Oh, oh, Muriel. Baloating. It is baloating. Oh. We're, we're loading in all kinds of musical instrumentos. Oh. That's why we keep it low because it stills like yeah. What if it's loud, bro? We need to see if I'm going to clap my fingers together. It's understandable. Welcome to the Norwood Swee Wee Wee. Look, I turn it up or down from here. Resolution, I would like this at 1920 by 1080. Thank you. 
Look, you can even change mouth sensitivity. And turn on V-Sync if you wish. My computer gonna die? Okay, my, my computer is good. Why? Mouse, look around. W forward. A left is backward. Or right. Wow, we got a full 360. Wow, look, it's the Polar Express train. Hello. Oh, we arrive at our destination. Always click to advance dialogue spoken at you. The Hotel Norwood. I left a hotel voucher for you in the cave up the hill. Present it at the front desk. It'll get you a free room. Trust me, you'll fit right in. The payment won't be wired to you until tomorrow. One thing to know about the Hotel Norwood. Everyone's looking for something here. So in a sense, it's not just me you're working for. Good luck, we believe in you. Peter Norwood, notable pianist, was the original owner of this estate. After his disappearance in 1983, this place got turned into the hotel in his name. All sorts of characters stayed here. Some even lived here for years. You other folks might still be lingering. That voucher will take you further than many who have come before you. Ha! Alright then, I guess. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> good. Good drive, good drive. Wait, come back for me, please. No! Oh, it just kind of poofed. I hope the Polar Express train derails and everyone dies. That's a pretty messed up thing to say. What the fuck is that back there? <laughs> what the fuck? How's the music? How's the volume? That's you. That probably is me over there. He's standing there. He is. I'm standing over here. The Hotel Norwood. Wow, what a pretty place. Ooh. Oh, these are bases. Cosmo D presents the Norwood Suite. Oh, some items can be picked up. You got a cyclist helmet. Press tab to open your backpack and select the item helmet. Right click to return the item to your backpack. Smell the jank. The jank is pretty fresh. You can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. Look where we are, Margie. The Hotel Norwood. The Hotel Norwood? Usually don't act so surprised. I read about this place a few times. Music, history, textbooks, album, liner notes. The name Norwood comes up a lot. Here it is. A big black star on my trusty old map. I gotta find this place on any new maps, Hans. Or maybe I wanted to find this place. But Hans, why? DJ Bogbart's party, of course. The night's three. Do you really want to take me here? I have my reasons, Margie. Hello, hello. I think I've seen you from somewhere before. Ben, that looks exactly like you. Wow. Hey, you look sort of familiar. Who are you puzzling? Actually, have you seen my helmet? You must have dropped it on the way up here. You need to actually start wearing your helmet, Hans. This is a dangerous sport. Ugh. I always about the helmet. Always about the helmet! He never wears his helmet. Helmet this, helmet that. Nice, he got my helmet. Thanks, I'll take that off your hands. Are you gonna actually wear it now? Ta da! That looks uh. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks again for finding my helmet. Yeah, I'd rather not buy you another one. 
this sword takes dedication. Ugh. I want to go to this party tonight. I'm going... Yeah, I'm a big DJ Bogart fan. I listen to his mixes when I'm in the woods. I drink a lot of Blue Moose and I know they're sponsors of this place. Not sure we have the right attire, Hans. Yeah, they don't just let anyone in. But what about this helmet? You might need something more elaborate. Okay, I'm done with helmet conversation. Buns can be pushed. Wow, an apple a day keeps you in. Mmm, I'm done. Notice due to recent incidents on Lover's Bridge, the bridge will remain closed until further notice. Nadia, management. Manage these nut. Thank you. This. People respond to any item you're holding. Activate an item by pressing and clicking that I've received their response. Feet, toes. on the lever and hold. While holding, pull down the lever. Works for all door and handles. Oh! Dude, just like, uh... That's a turbo. Turbo! Turbo moment! Like the one thing. Some doors need keys. <laughs> okay, thank you. He got the aquarium storage box key. These are used automatically. Oh, nice. Hotel voucher. E control battery. So what if I put this in front of them and they say, oh, what, 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 what? what would you f stop? Stop it. Look at this. I wish we had one of those. <gasps> they do react. What about this? I wish I knew what to make of that stranger. Oh my god! That turtle could have been me. I should have been that turtle. Burbell, Durbel, Burbel, Durbel. Let me in, home slice. Certain items can be placed. Open your inventory by hitting the tab key. A control battery. Bada bing. And this was as about as far as I made it before I said oh, I should stream this. Oh. <laughs> They're singing for me. Good singing. Good singing. You had your fat grilled cheese and said. Oh, who's this shady little character? Click on the drawer and hold down the mouse button. Green stranger, I see you picked up that voucher there. Good, you'll need it to get a room in the hotel. Dottie and Sandro at the front desk, they'll help you check in. Well, they'll try anyway. And my brother Dustin, he runs the Conjurer. Uh, Conjurer. Hmm? Oh, he'll help you with everything else. Just as a warning though. People might mistake you for one of the or one of the staff. I think it personally, you just have the look. You might, oh, you might want to even consider lending a helping hand. You use it. Doesn't that the conjurer will guide you there? A professional operation here at H Hotel Norwood, huh? This must button went down. This works for all drawers and cabinets. Five hundred and fifty four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> you increased the price, you motherfucker. Oh, he's valet. Uh, oh. Said blow. You should stream this thin shit paint. Stop saying that. You've been on that for a while now. Shit pants doesn't make sense anymore. Sorry. Congratulations on your promotion, Lucy. Ah, service at last. Hotel Norwood will serve their guests anywhere on the grounds, Lucy. 
sure this person is even affiliated with the Hotel Courtney? Absolutely. In fact, can you bring us a six pack of blue moose? I'm parched. You know, you could get us in trouble for harassing other guests, Courtney. Nonsense. Oh boy. Blue moose, please. Oh, I love having. Look at this. I love having the vision sign on my car. Yes, the vision. Oh, hot dogs. That wand. There's a loot in there. I need to take a look at all these trunks. Oil, oil, olive oil. Ali, oil. 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 Olive oil. <laughs> I, had a, I had a brain. A cheese. Uh, what is that? A hook? And some rope? Statue, balls, and little cones. Oh, that's like a little cat or a little beast in party hats. Broken egg. <laughs> what is all this? They're like, yeah, we got all these props from a prop pack. Might as well use them. Gotta put them in the prop pack. Freaking game, baby. It's locked, oh my god. How dare you defy me. And my ability to open up doors and locks, you son of a bitch. I guess I'll go look for more. Pizza. I'll be back with your drinks, okay? Leave me the freaking heck alone. Seems like there's two ways to go. Maybe not. I guess that button isn't ready to be pushed yet. This place do be a little wacky. Some symbols on the wall. Remember those symbols. Remember those freaking symbols. Desk or Piembo. Costume. Costume mandatory. DJ Bogart. This place is a little crazy. Hello? Oh. Oh. You know, he looks like we have a late night arrival. Dottie, Sandro, you don't have to shout at me. Your hearing needs aren't in. I left them in my room. Sue me. You're looking to book a room, eh? By the looks of you, it's probably out of your price range. Unless you feel like putting the stranger up in the Norwood suite. Eh, Dottie? In the Norwood suite, Sandro, you know the suite is off limits. Just saying. I'm just saying your rooms, our rooms aren't for the likes of you. Perhaps the stranger can give us something in exchange for a room. Like this? It looks like our late night arrival has a hotel voucher. Voucher, eh? Let's take a look at that. Need to have a room ready pronto. You're due for a night stay, eh? But Dottie, that's what I said, Dottie. You don't, you need to remember to wear those hearing aids. Not with that racket coming from out of our uh, the basement. Ooh. The voucher needs to be redeemed online. We'll hold on to it for you while you redeem it. What? There's a computer behind you to the left of the front door. This weekend is particularly strict on protocol. I went with the impending board meeting. No need to remind me, Sandro. I've been dreading it. Well, we still have a little time before the modulo makes its move, Dottie. Let's not talk about the hotel business in front of... In public, Sandro. We have a guest to check in. Hmm. Okay. I gotta go redeem. Oh, boy.
Long sleeves wireless router operation manual. Oh no. PC front desk if you require further assistance. There. What is that? Eh! Fuck. <laughs> they had it in jail. No tipping. Hotel staff are strictly forbidden to solicit tips in, uh, in matters of hotel appliance uh, assistance. I gotta plug. Okay, so that goes to. That goes there. Boom. No Wi Fi! No Wi Fi! <gasps> <gasps> Fucking gua to the gua. Where even is the modem at? Is this a scary game or just some kind of surreal fever dream? It did say surreal. No Wi Fi, it's a horror story. It truly is horrible. Excuse me. You're wine wine. But with the wireless internet, a router is a little finicky. You'll have to reset it. The router is in the library. Up the stairs and take a left. Oh my god. Dude, I just want my freaking room. <laughs> Must be over there. She's sleeping. Imagine going to a hotel and they're like, yeah, go reset the router. <laughs> I'd probably do it. I'd be like, I'm smart. I can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ditch my kitchen, like always. What's wrong with their legs? We're expecting a new tactic, Bruce. That never goes. Really needed a win tonight. Stranger, can't you see I'm getting creamed here? This game is gonna ruin me. It was a difficult game, Bruce. Perhaps you need some strategic assistance. I could just make one strong move, I'd be back in the running. You know, Norwood was a big Zo player back in his day. See, he'd skip his own ensembles, rehearsals, just to play, round after round. He was a collector of game curios and strategy guides. Don't be surprised if you run across one somewhere in this library. <gasps> oh! I have to find the... Uh, so that way this guy can help. He can be helped. Playing with literal, literal shapes. What even is this? It's the uh, Norwood Suite. Can't you read the fucking Twitch title or are you too fucking stupid? Boob lamp, boob lamp, boob breast, breast, breast. Sorry. You know what I'm talking about though, right? Mortis. Nah, you can't mortis. You know it to be true. There's the modem. Turn it off. I hate it. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> I kind of like it though. Kind of cute. I wish routers turned on that fast. I wish they had eyeballs. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. So cool. If they had eyeballs, I'd clap and I'd go. The book of Mastering Zo. I can go return this to the guy downstairs. There was. I'm gonna turn up the sound just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Cat and a rabbit. Cat and a rabbit. And a rabbit and a cat and a crab. <laughs> Good music. I like how it goes. Mm. Oh. Well, if it isn't a copy of Mastering Zo, that's exactly what I need, stranger. I'll glance through the prologue, Bruce. You might beat me yet. Yeah, normally I'd raise my ante, but given how things are with the hotel right now. Please, stranger, take this. Bruce's closet key. 
The key to my personal closet in room 308. Why don't you go in there and bring me my jar of pickles? <laughs> I've been letting the spears absorb the brine for a few months. I'm very excited. That's what keeps stinking up in the hallway, Bruce. Your pickle juice? Side vinegar. Uh, cider vinegar. Cloves. Red wine. And honey, Clem. These pickles are an acquired taste. I want you to acquire that taste tonight, Clem. Time. Oh boy. Room 308. <laughs> I will go get his pickles, I guess. Where's Kabu? Go say hi to him. Kabu's not in this game. That's me. That's you. Excuse me? I want to know what's happening in there. 308. Burger! Wow, good art. That donut? Ew, they're donuts, but they're like rotten donuts. Perfect book. Yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Are those the Twin Towers? <laughs> the Twin Towers, bro. They're fucking each other, bro. Thank you. Oh no, the pickles! Oh no. A pair of zebra pants, what? Turtle feed. Wait a minute. What? There's a turtle in here. What the f What's going on here? He sleeps with a giant turtle thing? <laughs> Dreaming and doing. This is getting very odd. It's just a spoon. There's eggs and donuts there. <laughs> what the fuck? Where the hell does this go? I can't get him his pickles though. Turtle feed. What, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Cage over. I released this turtle. Turtle, you have been released. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Wait, what? Where'd he go? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. This isn't good. He said turtle. He really did. Well, I, I don't listen. I can't help. Nope. Nope. That's like. It's gonna be messed up or something. I don't know. Boobai. Booba. Dude, what are these? All I did was. All I wanted to do is get some pickles. I went to go do the router, then I got stuck getting a master ring, the Zoe guide. Then I had to go get pickles, and pickles aren't there anymore, so... I'm in the kitchen, what? Is that a turkey? A hunk of oven gold turkey. Oh, holy shit. Slice o -matic. Sandwich making station. <laughs> What's up there? Oh my goodness. I can slice o -matic, uh, so much. Put bread there. Put bread. Oh, 
shit, here comes the doge. Holy shit. Oh my god, that motherfucker went crazy. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is a different quest, so I have to... I have to say boo -bye to that for now. Board meeting. What is that? Where the hell is this man? Oh, okay. We're back to the we're back to the front. Yeah, I need to finish my checking in. Voucher status redeemed. Bada bing. Oh yes, I see that you, the voucher has been redeemed. I have your room assignment and uh, um, what's wrong now? Another double booking? Oh, 201 is Klim's room. Hasn't Klim been there for, what, 15 years? He's practically a tenant. He always overpays. The room is definitely not available. Not available, sorry. All of our other rooms seem to be full due to the board meeting tomorrow. It's a busy weekend, but what about 316? 316, the Norwood Suite? You're kidding, right? At least it's vacant. Of course it's vacant. It's the Norwood Suite. No one is permitted to stay there. Says Nadia. Last I heard, Nadia still cuts her checks. She's three weeks late again. She's she'll pull another 90-day turnaround if we open up the Norwood Suite. Norwood Suite is off limits. No exception. Sorry, damn it. That 90-day turnaround. Really, I'm sorry, but there is very little I can do besides the guarantee you another night. Six packs of blue moose on the house. Really, Dottie? You want to risk another bad write-up in Traveler's Quarterly? Would you no more hotel business talk in front of the customers? Just, you know, you're putting our loyalty rating at a precarious bracket again. Okay, Sandro. Then let's try something a little different tonight. I'm seeing a no-show in room 204, so... Room 204. There you go. There's your room key. Is it room 204? I know, I know, but she's a no-show tonight. Something must have happened. Not sure about this. I am. Please make yourself comfortable in room 204. Don't drink blue moose all night in one sitting, tempting as it may be. You gotta share it. Apparently that stuff can keep you up for a straight weekend. No side effects, eh? How should that blue moose rep personally, uh, pay you to say that, Dottie? <laughs> okay. Okay. We got the beer for the people. Now they'll say, ah! And then they'll scream right in my ear and go, ah! I'll go, ow, oh, no! It's Red Bull. No, it's Blue Bull. Dingus, you shit, you little shitter. Blue Moose. There's a time at six packs of the good stuff. Oh, thanks. Get yourself a new personal assistant, Courtney. Nonsense, our friend here just knows how to, as they say, um, read the tea leaves. Unlike the rest of those kids racing away their allowance money in the basement. Those kids, I wouldn't underestimate them. You're helping the right people, stranger, and for that, I want to give you something. Courtney's locker key, number 52. Key to my locker, number 52. Could you do me a favor and grab me a flask from out of there? And Courtney's personal equipment. You better watch yourself, stranger. Lockers are by the pool. Welcome to whatever else you find in there. Hotel gives a lot of knickknacks because I've uh, been such a frequent guest. Mm. Pool time, everybody. Oh, pool time. Uh, I'm... Ugh. This place is a little crazy, a little kooky. Who even knows what's gonna happen once I get to the pool? I'm gonna be like, agua, agua, agua. Is that the pool room down there? Whatever it is, it's thumping down there. Why does this all look like Second Life or something? Remember that time last stream when you said when you played 
doing fetch quest. Now you were doing fetch quest at MLP, and now we're here. <laughs> You're so right. You're so fucking right. Here we are doing more fucking fetch quest. It's just fetch quest after fucking fetch quest. <laughs> What do you want me to do? I can't do anything! For display purposes only, any attempt to perform this music may result in serious injury. Do not touch. I touched. There's the pool room. We have to make our way over there. Remember when we were all just the pool room? You know, I really don't care for... Uh, I don't really care how far below my pay grade it is. I, Dirk Sanders, regional marketing VP for Blue Moose Energy Drinks, still love rolling these damn kicks. After hauling this load, and I could really use a dip in the pool there. Keep an eye out for any aquatic swimwear lying around, will you? <gasps> Wait, that could be what the key for the thing that... Do! Oh, do, oh. Do ah, uh, do ah, uh. do ah, uh, do ah, uh, do ah, uh. do ah, uh, do ah, uh, do ah. Uh. What was it, number 58? Only 40, what? Wait, 52. There is no 52. Unless I have bamboozled. Unless I have been bamboozled. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we is, number 52. Bada bing. Ew. <gasps> it's a bowling ball. Norwood's fake mutton chops. Why would I need that? What is my room again? Was it like 201 or something? Warning, no lifeguard on duty. I guess I can't swim. Key to room 209. Get yoinked and sploint. That's a cool little octopus. Octopoops. Octopoop. Poopus. What would you do if you had to go to the bathroom and take a big fat octo poop? Good area, keep out. I don't like how those things had faces on them. T B H N G L. Man, everything is so crazy up in here. Why is this place so freaking crazy all of a sudden? All of a sudden, so much craziness. What do you, we need 50 pizzas for tomorrow's board meeting. 50, not 40, 50. Five toppings varieties, how hard is that? <gasps> yeah, pay bit after delivery, that's how the hotel operates. Let me speak to your manager then. Yeah, it's late, big deal, I still want to speak to him. Hotel management. Meetings by appointment only, no exceptions whatsoever. Oh, I take my clothes off because it's one of those kind of poops. Ew. One of those kinds. Ew. That means you've had it before. Ew. I'm just trying every door because I forgot which one I'm supposed to be in. And here's his. So where does that other path lead then? That leads there, and then where does this one lead? He said, I'm gonna I'm throw this fucking head at you if you don't obey me. I'll kill you, man. There you go. Hello. Salute. 
strange. You don't look like the bartender to me. Maybe the stranger can help me out all the same. Not with a drink, though. Yeah, we're not thirsty. I'm trying to write some new music. A string quartet. As you can see, my daughter's laptop is ruined, and yeah, she has nothing to write with. My MIDI keyboard is going to get me only so far. I need a creative canvas to help capture my ideas. Great best away from a computer anyway, June. Whatever, Dad. I just need something, anything. Good luck. Turkey slice. What are you showing me that for? Fascinating, really. They didn't want the turkey slice. I feel hated. I feel instigated. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> As your concierge, my job is to provide answers should uncertainty arise. My brother told me you're a rival, stranger. If you're so inclined, allow me to offer a few words of guidance. Throughout this place, there are other guests and assorted attendees. But assist them myself with this book. This book just has me in a sweet embrace. If you want to make yourself useful, you ought to approach these guests. Find out what they want on behalf of the hotel. Who knows, you might even be rewarded for your trouble. I heard that's how these work. I'll be able to guide you further if you meet anyone of specific interest. Why not scoop it out? 204. Okay. 204, and then I'll go help out those people or something. 203, 204. Checked in. I got checked in, baby. The hell is this? You are reading this. If you are reading this, then you have successfully checked into your room. At the concierge desk, a gentleman will give you a compact disc. You must take it without hesitation. It is for DJ Bogart, who is currently spinning records at his dance party in the hotel basement. How you get into the basement, I leave that for you to sort out. This piano key and these computer monitors should offer guidance on this front. Once we have confirmation that DJ Bogart has received your CD, the paint will be wired to you by the morning. We believe in you. C-Y-R-K. Oh. 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 The only key for the note of D. D's nuts! <laughs> Lady, what are you doing in there? Let me in, I have to shit. Oh, okay. More secret passages, eh? Great. This truly is surreal. <laughs> He's throwing water at him, what a... You fucking piece of shit. What an asshole. So I guess we have to go a little crazy, go a little stupid, you know? Just a tiny bit. Nothing too much, you know? Oh shit, I'm back here. <laughs> Bro, double secret pathways that take me to the same area. She 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 Ugh. Piano key for the note of E flat. The Peter Norwood ensemble, twelve lines. So now we only have two other little paintings we have to go giddy giddy. Oh ew. Ew! No, oh no. <gasps> no. Remember it showed also another thing. I'm not good at music. I don't understand music. Please help me. Help me, God. Please! Oh my god. <laughs> it's spooky. There's the, there's the scary part of the game. It's a skull that says Quah! That was the spooky part of the game Quickly wake up quickly wake up wake up 
God, 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 God. Did you see? I said God. That's a good little cross. I like that. So we're still here. Are you the uh, promoter? Yeah, right. More like our driver. I thought I was the driver, but the stranger. Maybe you could help me out, though. Stream all the music around this place. I, for one, want to use the time off to learn some new music. We've been schooled on music history. We know all about Norwood. There's gotta be a copy of one Norwood's music books around here. Help with chair. Don't work yourself into another bout of tinnitus. Like we talked about this already. Finally learned your lesson, eh, Jer? Whatever, people. Cheat music. Okay. Sheet music. Gotcha. Gotcha. This game feels like one big fetch quest. No actual anything. I mean, there's always the fact of enjoying some epic coolness, you know? Some really cool aesthetic design. Who wanted the pants? Who wanted the swimming attire? Do you remember who that was? Bin Killer? Bin Killer? Oh shit, wait, look. I'm gonna guess the guy didn't win and then he got very upset and threw the table. <laughs> Who was the one who wanted swimming gear? Plot progression, right? Right? There's light coming from this one. I have no idea. Anyone wanted swimming gear to begin with? Yeah. He said swimming gear, swimming gear. My father was one of Peter's favorite musicians. He'd stay here every summer. The room was exactly the same as I remember them. From 54 to 75, I literally grew up in these halls. Only tonight, my father brought Peter's music into being. No air conditioning, no rest. A lot of things have been written about Peter, the way he treated his musicians. And my father never talked about any of that. He expressed his desire to come back. Now, here we are. Ah, oh, that's me! That's me right there! Narsal strings, harp. Blink sheet music. Oh, she! We're getting all the freaking puzzle pieces. Sandra Carmichael Carp. Huh. I'm sure that's probably important or something. Lol, 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 lol. Oh. Poop assistance. Synch reparation. Oh, ew, look at that. <laughs> that's, that is in progress management. Who is the person who wanted swimming gear? Ah. Thank you. You would have poop assistance, would you accept it? I might need some soon. I feel a little bit of the tingling within my bowels. They say hello. Wake up, sir. Need to go to the bathroom maybe soon. Ha ha! I say, no, please, I'm streaming! People aren't patient enough for me to go use restroom. Oh. Oh, do I? Look. Norwood's jacket. We got the beard, we got the jacket, we got... Leopard Speedo, I think. Hey, wait a minute. That lady's gone as well. Sure. 
She had a butt pillow. It's like the one I have. But she has it the wrong way. Just running around stealing everyone's belongings. I kind of have to. What do you want from me? Oh, so BRB. I gotta go pee. Pee, not poop. It's pee, okay? So BRB, PRB, pee, 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 peepers. Thank you. 
There's pee everywhere. There's pee everywhere. Oh my god, there's pee all over me. There's pee all over me. Oh. Oh my god, there's so much pee all over the place. Oh my god. I bet you're doing a big shit stink poop because it was unexpected. Nope. No. 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 Wrong. No. I was like... Big P, and then I said, let me go get a little piece of bologna from the kitchen. Me as well. Lol. And then I went and I got the piece of bologna. And I looked over and I said, my water bottles, they're not full of water. Ah. I plan on eating spicy chips tonight, so I need all the water I can get. <laughs> so I filled it up and I said, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I see you made it to your room in 204. Been entrusted to give you this. Muriel's demo CD. Muriel, the woman that CD apparently belongs to, requests you give it to DJ Bogart. As you probably gleaned, Bogart is spinning records downstairs as we speak. Getting access to the party requires that you wear a mandatory eight piece costume. What the fuck? Regrettably, I can't provide you with a costume to enter the dance party myself. I remember hearing about an old costume mannequin up in room 316, the Norwood Suite. That room sealed off. Muriel may have left some indication in your room as to how you might be able to gain access. What's to do with what's on the computer desk on your monitor? And on the theater. But I can share with you a few other things. Of the people you met. Company Leah son Dirk from Blue Moose Energy Drinks is staying here for tonight. Oh yeah, he's the one. Orange play, blah blah blah. In the situation, the teammates, blah blah blah. I know him. Cool off. Yep, I knew it. I knew. I knew it. I knew it. Your dynamite sticks. Yes, my dynamito sticks. How? How do you think they're actually pronounced? Because they, you want to say like dynamite sticks, but then. You read the package and it's like Dinamato Dinam Dynamito Muriel 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 Oh the things I do for love Dynamite Yeah but it has like an E O E O Dynamitio at the end So obviously you're wrong obviously you're freaking stupid and wrong Obviously, you should KYS. Oh, oh, trusty band. Oh, 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 Dirk's locker, number 18. Go to my spa locker, number 18. See if there's an extra towel in there. Maybe there's a towel in there. Maybe there isn't. Whatever. Have at it. So sweaty, I gotta get in the pool straight away. Whatever happens after this weekend, at least I'll have gotten a nice swim in. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Number 18. Uh, number 18. If you could become a number 18, would you do it? And why? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Norwood's hum Hamburg hat. Wait, not anymore. Damn it, Ben. Always fucking up stuff. Norwood Etudes Display Security Override Switch. I don't know what that did. Hello? Wait, did you just come out from behind the bookcase there? Betsy, I told you this place had hidden passages. 
more than you even realize, ladies. Will this stranger be joining our cultural field trip? Our lesson plan has ground to a halt. I was going to play this record, but there's no needle. We already asked the woman, Dottie. He said there was some old record players in Norwood's old room. Oh, I could be out to lunch. Maybe the concierge? Well, if you run across a record needle. Miss Davis, I need to listen to this record, like, now! Okay, goodbye, ladies. More secret passages. More secret passages. Oh, that's the basement. I need to go down there. But I don't have enough. I need to work harder. Become smarter. Hopefully. Ew, look at his head. <laughs> we'll never get in. Burger heads. Burger heads. Oh my gosh. Oh my me. I'm just observing the action down here. My company is going to be dismantling all this. I don't know if it's even that special. To be honest, I was expecting a longer line. I'm not sure why Courtney sees you as a hired help stranger. I actually had you pegged as the piano player. Maybe you ought to go and find out if I'm right. You need a fully assembled costume if you want to enter this party, bub. Concierge to the right of the front desk can help you with that. Sorry, I'm puking. And I'm puking. I'm as bloom was get back in the kitchen. Excuse me, but you need to tell your boss to stop playing and the board game and get back in the kitchen. So hungry, Shelly. We'd like to order a sandwich. Turkey, mozzarella, cheese, cabbage, and tomato. Turkey, maz. Oh, cabbage, tomato. Write this down, write this down, write this down, write this down. Turkey, maz. We got the turkey. Turkey, maz. What else? What else? Cabbage. Tomato. Thank you, dog. Slice of mozzarella. <laughs> I like how we... I like how we go... That makes me a happy man. I need one piece of bread. Where's bread? Bread pretzel bread. The sandwich. We got it. Clap the hands. Yeah, I'm a clapping hand, son of a man. Hey, what's up, bitches? Sandwich is exactly what I needed. Let's maybe uh, let's see what it is. Let's check this out. A warm, fresh slab of oven gold turkey. Tender, delicious. Creamy, farm fresh mozzarella cheese. Mouth meltingly marvelous. A crunchy slice of hearty cabbage. Part of the balance. A juicy tomato dripping with flavor. Sliced impeccably. I'm impressed, stranger. You really know how to make a sandwich. You didn't leave out a single. You didn't leave out a single ingredient. I'll split this. Sure. I'll be up in the library. I'll get some special hot pepper flakes from the room. You always bring a jar of Hov Hova's hot peppers, huh? I have them with every meal. I'll get them from the room and meet you later. Room 206 by the stairs? Yes, room 206. Actually, I just need a few minutes to uh, ease out this comfy chair. I'm comfortable given the work we've got to do tonight. I uh, wait to sway the board in our favor. She, 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 she. 
she, 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 you. Me, me with hot sauce. <laughs> I go, Vin, do you need to really have hot sauce on every little bit of delish that you have? And you say, I have to, I have to. I, it's part of me. It's, I am, I am the, the hot. I am the hot sauce. And so, and I say, Ben, please, please. <laughs> yeah, there you are. There you are, Ben. That's you. Anyway, I sneak downstairs and make a maniac sandwich at 5 a.m. Look at you. Oh, that's a, that's a big ass dog. <laughs> the hell? Norwood Green Swai Suede Swad Shoes. A mini couch? It's a mini couch. More secrets, more secrets, more secrets, more secrets, more secrets, more secrets. <laughs> Is another one of the old man beating up the young man. <laughs> he released the couch and he broke his neck. I'm starting to think this Norwood guy was a fucking piece of shit. More circuits, more like more bigs, more bigs. This was very good, very good so far. Your co-worker fell asleep even after inhaling the sandwich i'm still stressed out i saw a little melody on the piano stand in the theater maybe if you play it loud enough i'll hear it from here it could calm me down so many nights without sleep this blue moose can only go keep me going for so long before i really lose it okay and this is one of the things Oh, oh, piano key for note of A. Hey, I'm walking hey, here. Hey. Okay, now do every NPC is leaf. I can't, can't keep making me do this. Why are you so in love with it? Your obsession concerns me, dear Benist Killer. Your obsession with these. These things, this wishing for leaf voice, it's very upsetting. It's very scary. You're very scary right now. Very scary, man. I can go and do this now. The Norwood Etudes book. Etudes? Oh, I'm about to. Oh, I'm about to shit. I'm about to eat food. Ah! Can I bring this to the piano man? I dropped the cake. Look, it's all over the ground. The hell? Hey, boys, I got some blank sheets of music for you. I've seen enough blank staff paper in my life. I wonder if written music. Is that what I think it is? I'm gonna have to get this off your hands and learn it. Ginger, you seem cool enough. You don't... Uh, why don't you come party in our room 211? Party in 211, 211, 211! On the stairs and take a right down the hall, stranger. Let's go party! It makes me clap my fat fingers and laugh. <laughs> why? <laughs> Does it remind you of someone? Let's do this. Sandro, please stop messing around with Norwood's old sound system. Guests have been complaining to me non-stop since Clem insisted on getting it working. Since I know how much you like prizes, I've left a special reward for you next to the mixer. To access it, you'll need to mix the music to levels that I prefer. Thanks, Nadia. P.S. I wouldn't worry about the board meeting this weekend. In fact, quite the opposite. Everything is falling into place.
Oh, <laughs> that's what she finds perfect. Norwood's eyeball necklace. The basement blue door key. I know exactly where that is. Oh, it's a doge! Alright, whoever did this is on some type of wacky wicko wongo drugo. This is kind of scary to me. This is actually kind of cool, but also very frightening. The game certainly is odd. But like in a good way, you know? Oh! What if that Norwood guy forced everyone to, like, become part of a gross thing? What is this? What is this banana? Oh, we're just back here now. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna put this prop here. Funny. <laughs> it is funny. Look like at this! Pop image of a bread. How could you not like that? What kind of psycho are you that you can't even enjoy something so simplistic and so beautiful? You truly are the devil. You are the devil. You're a devil of a devil of a devil of a devil. What else? Norwood zebra pants. I have all these Norwood pieces. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now all we need is the seven and the eight. Thank you. Oh, these boys are hanging out. What's your role? Stranger, if I had known this hotel attracted such important people. We're just talking about getting Dave set up with our Blue Moose sponsorship. We have an artist development aspect in our business. Organic. They applied to the musical. It doesn't hurt that I enjoy a nice cold can of Blue Moose every now and then. So you wake at night when I'm driving the tour van. Your casual endorsement is precisely what we're looking for in artists. Amazing opportunity, really. Yeah. I do like how their voices are like musical notes. Me and my dog. Okay, thanks for nothing, guys. Appreciate the nothing that you've given me. But we need to find a needle. We got sheet music. Blink sheet music. I wonder if we bring it to the old man upstairs, if he'll be like, Oh, let me write music with my hands. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. There is still the other place. We need to find blue curtains through a doorway. Because that's one of the things. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gua, 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 gua. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Man. Sheet music. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Mm. Yeah, I don't care, lady. Lady, la lady, I don't care. See, these are blue curtains, but it needs to be like two. Two blue curtains. So oh, yes, honey. Oh, oh. <gasps> ah. the Norwood Suite. The Norwood Suite. Would you? It was, it was, it was. They keep saying there's a piano around here, but I don't know where that is. Let me in. Yo, one. Three or two. Maybe I'll have to go talk to the concierge. Say hello. Hi there. Hi. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't know where. Oh. 
They are shields. Shields and seals. See, we're missing one. Then we have this. I don't know where that piano is. Maybe I'll go take a look downstairs and I'll say, Hello, concierge! Help me! Well, dirt people don't know nothing. Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Concierge, my job is to prevent answers. Can't provide you with the costume. Sealed off. Muriel may have left some indication in your room. What they do with the computer monitors? Piano in the theater, so I can share things with a few other people's the people you've met. Renowned estate lawyer and his daughter are staying here this weekend. Oh wait! I forgot! I forgot about that one. Gua gua gua! I forgot gua gua about that. Oh wait, this looks familiar. I just know. Yes, this is where I need to be to give them this. Or you people. Oh, Princess Bruce really wanted to win that one. He had to soothe his spirits by playing that old melody in the piano. Look, sheet music. Oh, this blank sheet music will get me started. I just remembered my calligraphy pins are in my suitcase. And that calligraphy said I got you as a graduation present? The fairy ones dipping them in ink in the real short. Uh, that's how the best composers did it, June. You know that. Tell you what, stranger. Take this. June's luggage tag. This is my luggage tag. The front desk is holding that. Uh, holding my it for me. The calligraphy pins are in there. Okay. All right. Okay. There's no Muriel blur. Maybe there could be. Let's go see. Let's go take a quick look. See if we can get a Muriel. Muriel. We'll see if we can get one. Featuring Courage, the cowardly dog. Courage, the cowardly dog. We interrupt this program to bring you courage. courage. Stupid dog! You made me look bad. <laughs> yeah. See these bones? See these bones? No. I don't think there's any Mario. The things I do for love. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one a lot. What if I type in Muriel? Nope. Nope. No. I think you'd have to go find a clip of it. If I could find a clip of it, I could turn it into a good. Trust me, I could do it. I swear I could. Turn one into Muriel. This is the only one that has like double blue curtains. Whatever. Uh, luggage tag. Uh, luggage tag. Uh, luggage tag. Strange, I didn't notice you storing luggage with us. Doesn't matter, Sandra. Let's take that off of our guest hand. Remember, Nadia lectured us all the theft reports. Guess I slept through that lecture. We have a lost and found for a reason. Still working on the found part. We'll have your suitcase in a moment. State of the art luggage retrieval system is without peer. Okay, so we'll be in the lost and found room to your left in just a moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> that sounds like shit. Thanks. Oh my god, it busted everything open. Hotel Norwood Spa Voucher. Harrison, I told you I too 
I was too ill to attend the Norwood Chamber Society reunion this weekend, but I'm really fine, so please stop sending me get well cards. And I sent you my bus cancellation notice on purpose, so stop calling the bus company on my behalf. I know our summer quartet workshop was great, but it's been three years. A lot can happen in three years, Harrison. Maybe I'm not even playing piano right now. Maybe I can't because of those damn Norwood etudes. Think about that. And if you're still worried, I'm going to tell Jake about us sneaking into the Norwood suite. He figured out how to do it, too. It's like Norwood wanted every piano player to find their way inside. A real shame, because now Jake will probably never recover from trying to play those etudes. Whatever gift you said you have waiting for me on our spa date, please just return it. Janet. Spa? Emobile at the front desk. Spa gift card. Let me take a look at that. I haven't seen one of those in years. Where'd you find that? An old coupon book? It's a shame not that you had to let the ma suits go five years ago. Fancy the man? I liked how he worked my lower lumbar, Sandro, if that's what you mean. Here you go, stranger. Key to locker number 29. Key to your spa locker. Remember the last time we cleaned out the spa lockers? Been a while. Sorry, no masseuse. You get what you pay for. Shit! It's in just the butt pics. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it unless you're a bee. A bee! Thank you. Merry Christmas. Welcome, sugar. We gotta head to the pool. We gotta head to the pool. We gotta go to the pool. We gotta go, go ahead to the pool. It's pool time. Pool time. What? Pool. What time? Pool. Locker number 29. Number 29. Norwood's monocle. So what am I missing? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing one piece. One piece of the pencil. In order to sneak in. Needs eight pieces. And we're missing just uno momento. And it's that needle as well. It's the women who are like, We need a needle for the... Blah, 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 blah. Strange, I really did it myself this time. What were you thinking? I was caught up in the moment, stranger. It was the Norwood Etudes. At this point, the only thing that will make me feel better is if someone plays a tune on the piano. Oh wait, there's the piano! Gee, bro! Oh. Final piece. No, I, I, I have one more piece. Wait, but what, what happened to that other piece? <laughs> no, what happened to the other one? Oh, wait, I still don't have that other one. Remember? I don't have the last one because I never did the last picture. We need to go find blue curtains, okay? Blue fucking curtains. And I won't fucking ask again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Blue curtains in a doorway. Look, we'll go look on the camera one more time, but if you guys can't promise me blue curtains, then I'm gonna be pissed. Pissed. Pistoled. These are the only curtains that really resemble it. Wait, there it is! Shoes. <laughs> we pushed in shoes. Sorry. The note of C. Yeah, later, alligator. <laughs> After a while, <laughs> crack up. <laughs> Dial. <laughs> ah! Tomorrow, 11 a.m. Note: the taking of photos, recording of audio is strictly forbidden. Prohibited. Forbidden. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fuck! Fuck! Nope. 
that, do that. What am I doing with my big, dumb brain? Wait, I can't reach the final note, though. Can't reach the final note. Help! Listen to this record right, right now. I'm still looking for the needle, ladies, okay? I'm trying my best around here. How can I play the forbidden thing, you majingi? Let me go talk to the concierge. Concierge. Yeah, yeah. Room 204, costume the enter. Indication. Computer monitor is on your desk. And the piano in the theater. Piano teacher in the theater without shame. He needs a record needle. Proceed. No, for sure. Norwood kept record players in his room, but considering it's off limits. Hmm. That's all I got for now. She, 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 she. She re re I do have to play the piano, but I don't know how I'm supposed to play it. Uh, wah. I just want to do good. I just want to live life. Maybe have a wife. Here I am playing a piano. His Anno. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it's that, 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 that. Hey, I knew I was a musical man. Oh. He said, please look at this. Oh, she, he stole her record. Kind of fucked up. Is it? Is this the Norwood suite? Keys, wallet, passport, gloves. <laughs> he literally he, he doesn't know how to remember. November third, nineteen seventy-eight. Peter, I hope this letter finds you well. I've tried reaching out to you by telephone, but your old number no longer works, so thanks in advance for fielding this. You may recall giving me a rough sketch of your of of your bathtub minute uh about ten years ago when I visited you at your estate. Ah, the memories or ah memories. The piece was either handwritten by you or copied by Hans. I can't recall. But there's Bruh. been interest in it from a prominent sheet music collector. Over. Normally, I wouldn't let something like this go, but he's offering a decent amount of money, and I could use it at this moment in time. I just need a signed letter from you verifying that you did actually give me the bathtub minute back in July 1968. You can r respond on the return address of this letter. I hope you're well. Do you have any shows planned? If so, let me know if there's room on the guest list. E.D. Brrr. Muriel! July 28th, 1968. Peter, I wanted to thank you again for having me at your estate this week. Getting to immerse myself alongside your ensemble uh, was a real treat. The crowd on Sunday, unbelievable. Back in the city, it just isn't quite the same. But I am trying to put together my own ensemble in your honor. Very inspiring. Gabe D. P.S. Can we reschedule our next lesson an hour later than usual? Roommate drama again. Oh, hello, stranger. Don't mind me. I see you're moving in in unexpected directions. You and I are both stranger. It appears you need a costume for the club, huh? DJ Bogart is notoriously picky about who he lets into his party. You'll need to do a thorough job of crafting a good outfit. Most of the guests, whether you they realize it or not, can guide you to what you seek. As for you, this picture will lay it out. Formal shirt will be crucial. Slick shoes for dancing. Outrageous pants. 
a singularly intimidating necklace. A devious mask to hide your true truth identity. A tall hat to elevate your height. A monocle so you can see others' true motives. And definitely a fake beard. That way people will think you're older than you actually are. Costume mannequin for putting this all together is straight ahead with a clock tower face. None of the other guests will be as stylishly bold as you, I can assure you that. Pity them. Oh my god, ew, it's a skeleton! <laughs> it's not even a fucking mannequin, it's a skeleton. <laughs> a woman record. A worn! Not a woman. A worn record needle. That's exactly what I need for the finality of the costume. And he rushed downstairs and hand this to the woman and say, Give me your eyes, leave me back in my outfit, thank you. And then run back upstairs and go, <laughs> Then pass out. Because I breathe too hard, too heavy, too hard, too heavy. Hello. Very exciting. Let's rotate the needle. Here we go, let's do this. Yeah, my ears are getting thirsty. Wait for it. Interesting music. Hmm. Is this spoken word album? What is this? You sure this is even a Norwood record at all, Miss Davis? Oh, I got this at the Hotel Norwood's tag sale some years back. The woman I bought it from couldn't sell it to me fast enough. The label just says Norwood Sweet, written in a marker. A test pressing, perhaps? Stranger, if you'd be so kind, I left another actual copy of this record in my trunk of my car. The record is in the trunk. Uh, it's that car I couldn't open before. Remember I said, how dare this car defy me? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? So this should hold me a goody goody. There it is! Norwood's face mask. There we are. Now we have a full costume ready. So now all I have to do is return to the little mannequin, put it all together, and then run down into the club, give the guy the CD, and then get the fuck out of here. I gotta say, I do like this quite a bit. It's very nice. Oh, those people are just gone. They're like, low bye. Yeah, I do. I do like this quite a bit. I love how surreal and weird it is. I'm glad I'm also pretty good at finding out the puzzles. My brain has activated quite a bit this stream. Logers. Yes, so true. It's so fucking interesting. All right. Time to put this shit together. Face mask. Ew. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> hey, short AF, bro. There it is. Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. The man disappeared. I can't leave it the normal way. Uh. 
314-1965. Mr. Norwood, I just wanted to say how great it was meeting you after your concert. Incredible music, as always. I know you mentioned wanting to hear uh, me play for you next Thursday at your clinic on 5th Street. My class ends 30 minutes before it starts, but I'm going to hop in a cab for it. Looking forward, Gabe D. Gabe D. Gabe D's nuts in your mouth. Ah! I yeah, just poof. The mango. 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 February 20th, 1981. Peter, I hope you are well. I know our correspondence has been somewhat sporadic over the past several years, but I felt it was timely that I send you this note. Once again, I find myself recovering from a long-term bout of tinnitus. I keep wanting to hide your etude book in a vault and throw away the key, but something about it keeps me coming back, even as it twists my hands into shapes I won't recover from for months. Anyway, the real person I'm writing is in regards to my partner. Her name is Muriel, a great vibraphonist. Uh, she's a true musician and would have been a great fit for your ensemble. She wanted me to give you the record attached to this note. It's her interpretation of your Norwood suit in F minor. She had it pressed especially for you. Or so she tells me. Consider this a gift from both of us. We hope you enjoy it. Deep deep. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Well, at least we can go and make it down to the club now. <laughs> what? After hours of work, variance permit. Hotel Norwood. All floors issued to Cosmo D Studios LLC. The Norwood Suite has been uh, made possible with assistance from NU, NYU Game Center Incubator, uh, Alliance Digital Media, and scores of playsters. Special thanks go out to Shannon, the fam, fantastic. Question or complaint sent to Cosmod at Cosmod.net. That like the credits. <laughs> the credits being given to me by a fucking rando I want the things can't go in to spook the person and say oogly boogly oogly boogly oogly boogly that guy's still just trying to party maybe I can go up to that manager lady and say oogly I guess we're going down. Wow. Down, 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 down. Go we'll talk to the concierge. Concierge. Oh, well, stranger, that is an impressive costume. Only I'd say you'll turn some heads wearing that. But given this late hour, you might need to get the party's attention a bit more rudely. And in the meantime. As your concierge, my job is to provide answers should you absurdly uh, raise. My security system show me that you're poking around in places you shouldn't. The Norwood Suite, eh? Yet perhaps you can find the means to form your costume all the same. That's all I got for now. Okay, I'm off to go do the partying. Yo, what's up, fuckers? Decent costume. You can pass, bub. Aw, oh, yeah, bitch. Oh, saving. This first time it's been like, hey, you saving here. <laughs> oh. It's shitting itself. Oh, never mind. We're good. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I was expecting like a full-on party. Look at this. 
There's tiny people. There's big people. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the fuck is shit, bro? Not a chance, bub. <laughs> fuck your speakers, bitch. I hate this party. I hate this. It's peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just got knocked out. Oh, oh, my fucking mouth. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh. Oh, where am I? Nadia. Yes, DJ Bogart. Who the hell is this? No idea. DJ Bogart. Naughty, who is this? I guess for the night. Checked in earlier this evening. Certainly don't look like a guest to me. As much as I like your outfit, stranger, you ruined my party utterly. Why are you letting you know, troublemakers into the hotel again, Dottie? I guess I had a voucher, Bogart. I'm not just gonna turn away guests. Tonight was no vacancy, Dottie. You knew that. No vacancy. Schmakesancy. <laughs> I know you always leave a few rooms open for. Hey, remember that pay cut we were talking about? You're really gonna cut my pay over this? Contract is. You signed. Uh, the contract you signed binds you or pay scale to your job performance. Unless I get to dock you 50 bucks for every random act of sass. I think we're there, Dottie. You've given me no choice. Damn piece of paper I signed 15 years ago. Still buying me in the rump. I was right to insist on a handshake agreement with you, Nadia. The little moose team is ready to fly me anywhere. Far, far away from here. Hold on, Bogart. The Hotel Norwood made you. Without us, you'd be nowhere. I'll still be nowhere if all I do is play shows in the basement of a damn backwards ho hotel. I remember when you showed up here begging to play all those years ago. Can it, Dottie? That was then, before Blue Moose Energy Drinks helped me realize my full potential. Face it, Nadia. You got an incompetent staff. Joke security. The food is interesting. Then interlopers like you show up and start causing the real trouble. I'm sure we can come to an agreement in my office, Bogart. First, give me a reason why I shouldn't get security to serve you another fist sandwich. They won't see it, yeah? Let's see that. From your... Yeah? So she dropped you off here, eh? You should have guessed. You know she's banned for life from this place, right? What's that? Now you're concerned, Dottie. Guards, kindly remove the stranger from the building at once. What up, Nadia? The CD is from. I'm gonna have to listen. Yeah, since it is from. No, no, no way. Come on, no means no. Come on. It's in my best interest as a professional selector to feel new music, especially if it's from. Yeah, Bogart, you're gonna want to hear this. Hmm. Yes, listen. Don't waste your time on that demo CD. Come up to my room, stranger. We'll listen to the CD together. Ugh, not a good idea. Well, look, I'll play another 48-hour marathon party next weekend, okay? Just got my back, Nadia. Let's say I didn't warn you, DJ Bogart. Got plans for you, stranger. You're gonna owe me for this. Let me take the old lift up to my private suite. Meet me there. We shall listen to the CD together. Meet me upstairs in a minute. Bogart thinks he can hightail it out of here now that he's got that Blue Moose sponsorship. We made a handshake agreement with you, Nadia. He can walk away anytime. Oh, really? That 360 deal he made with Blue Moose Energy Drinks? I wrote it. Which allowed me to make a side deal on the merchandising, so... Always find a way to sneak in some new fine print, Nadia. I learned that the hard way 15 years ago. Glad we understand each other, Dottie. Oh, 
And the font was so damn small. If those modulo lawyers knew about all the side deals Courtney keeps making with me. Alan Miranda scares Courtney that much? Let the board meeting have a vote tomorrow. <laughs> I'd entertain DJ Bogart with Muriel's music. Muriel's! Please, please do. But after that, you're on my time. The music better be good, stranger. Oh, it will be good. Too good. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Get me away from these fucking people. We believe in you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. It's all the people that were part of the guy's concierge. Not his concierge, it's, it's all the people. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. <laughs> ah, stop! Stop! I don't like this, please! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's a skeleton! He's a robot! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Get me out of here, please! Oh no. He was Norwood the whole time! Oh, he gets in like a little bath. What? I'm impressed you've made it this far. Few are as bold as you. There's feet all over the fucking ceiling. Nadia can sweet talk me all she wants, but I'm ready to go. The modulo can have this place. Still, looking back, I never could quite put my finger on what drew me here. Hard to remember a time before I wasn't deep in the music at Hotel Norwood. It's a place that attracts a certain kind of person. Put on some music to celebrate, shall we? Go ahead, put that disc into the CD player. Where's the fucking CD player? Ew. Chris, you've made it. Here we go. What the? Hey, remember that turtle? Oh, Bruce and his pet turtle? Never stops, does it? Whatever, let's do this. What? <laughs> There's a spot right up the turtle. Muriel. Oh, oh shit, I just killed him. Oh. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> default walk, default walk, and he's walking on his fucking heel, dude. Oh, wait, that's the old man in the bed, remember? Help. There you go, there you go, everyone. The Norwood Suite. Wasn't that great? Clap your hands if that was great. More pips. More pips. Well, there you go, everyone. That was it. I went pee. <laughs> you missed all of that. You missed the guy. He came in and he said, Oogly boogly oogly boogly. The Norwood Sweet Indie. How do I look that up? What the hell happened at the end? Well, I encourage players to interpret the ending as they will. I hope this will give perspective on where I was coming from at the ending. Uh, let's see. Both Norwood and DJ Bogart are the embodiment of musical ideals, past and present. People have flocked from all around to see them and be close to them. 
their creative energy, their invertedness, inventiveness, sorry. As you learn that they are both actually not really human, the Vita Chambers, the Zo Zoe, uh, Zotrope, uh, going up the elevator, Norwood as mannequins, the kill word that makes Bogart's head explode, revealing him as a machine. They are ultimately shown to be false idols, possibly even the same false idols in different guises. When the old man sees you in the costume to him, you're keeping the ideal of Norwood's musical power alive, and thus you are the last shred of hope he has in embodying this musical ideal he had to leave behind long ago. Yes, it emerges that Norwood stole a lot of uh, his colleagues' ideas, basically made music that ruined people's lives and arms. But there's something about the ideal of Norwood's music that inspires the old man. Some unknowable aspect of Norwood's aura aspire, inspires the old man to get up out of his wheelchair and ultimately move towards you as if to give you a hug. Uh, parentheses, tackle? Well, there you go, everyone. That was a <laughs> that was the Norwood suite. <laughs> Man, I don't even know what to do for uh that thumbnail. <laughs> there you go. Um, I did say I wanted to take it down a little bit of a different path tonight. I feel like I did exactly that. I played quite an odd game, and uh. We played like two one-off odd games today. It was pretty good. But, um, yeah, I guess that'll be it for the late night stream. Tomorrow, I'll have a different game all lined up. And I think it might be one that people might enjoy, just maybe, possibly. Up, 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 up. Um, yeah, but I love everybody. I hope everybody has a good rest of the uh, the, uh, uh night. Um, yeah, tomorrow early stream game will be something different and late stream game will be something different. So I hope everyone has good sleeper of a peeper of a dreeper and yeah, toodaloo, bye bye.